Yo, 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 good morning, good morning. I hope you're great this Friday. Some people say, thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's my day. Don't matter what day of the week it is. So, um, you know, I'm really working hard with several organizations and individuals to help them crush, shatter targets, goals, objectives. And, you know, people are just going through life. Sometimes that involves um, divorce, death, depression, um, lack of employment, financial insecurity, and stress. So whatever, wherever people are, we're going through the challenges of life. And some of these challenges can be exceptionally daunting. And the challenges of life can be exceptionally daunting unless you have the tools and the skills to to process them, to work through them. So, um, folks, I really want to talk about getting your head in the game, getting your mentals right. Because if your head ain't right, you ain't going to achieve very much. So if you like what I'm doing, I want to say hi to you. If you're live, you're on Facebook. If you're watching, drop me a comment, drop me a message. I'd love to um, know who you are and then share this post. The more people um, who get this message, the better. So life is full of challenges and obstacles and opportunities. Um, but you need to be armed and ready. You need to be mentally, emotionally, spiritually empowered so you can act from a place of empowerment as opposed to a place of weakness. And first and foremostly, is if you don't rewire the beautiful brain, if you don't rewire your programming, you're unfortunately going to continue to create the same results you've been creating all this time. So make sure that you're getting your head in the game and that you're programming for success. Most people program for failure. They wake up in the morning and they go, what a tough life. Economy's bad. Jobs are scarce. Love is nowhere to be found. Money is tight. So this is all the type of negative programming that's happening out there in the world. People are seeing problems and not opportunities. Having said that, there's an abundance of love, money, joy, happiness, employment. There is no shortage except in the mind. So you got to get your mentals right first and foremostly. Hey, I'd like to say again, if you're enjoying this, um, this feed um, live here on Facebook, share, man. Sharing is caring. Drop me a comment. Um, drop me your name. Ask me anything you like. I'd like to engage with you. So we have to get our mentals right because without getting the mentals right, we ain't going to win this game of life. We're going to be in a position of of hope and hope is not a strategy hey thanks for those likes we appreciate them keep them coming keep sharing keep pushing so um hope is not a strategy you need you need strategies for the mind because the mind is either your best friend or it's your worst enemy I'll say that again your mind's either your best friend or your worst enemy so what i'd encourage you to do challenge you to do is to make your mind your best friend empower yourself for success by overcoming the limitations of the mind, you overcome the challenges of life. How do you make your mind your best friend? Number one is that you choose to wire it and program it for success, and you choose to do so every day. Number two is you develop high levels of awareness. High levels of awareness that will help you so that when the mind goes into reverse gear, you can yank it back out and put it back into first. Get out of that reverse mindset. Reverse mindset cause reversals. You go through challenges and difficulties because your mind's in the wrong place. So develop high levels of awareness so that you could move forward. Hey, Michelle, how are you, dear? It's nice of you to connect. Um, share. I'd love for you to share um, this video. Let's, let's get people thinking about the things that they want and not the things they don't want. Most people spend all day thinking about the things they don't want. I don't want to be sick. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to be lonely instead of creating the things that they do actually want. Um, so number three is that um, get the best mental, nutritious protein you can for your brain, your mind. Feed your, feed your mind like you'd feed your soul, like you feed your body. Most of us feed our bodies better than we feed our minds. We eat the best foods and the worst sometimes um, junk food consumed in high quantities and that's detrimental to your body and your mind because your mind is firing off the of the stuff you feed it so what are you feeding your mind every day 
if you if you're feeding your mind it's a hard knock life yo lo and behold you know what it's gonna be so hey folks I'd, I'd love for you to like comment share get this out there I'll be coming back to you um, every day talking about getting your mind and your mentals right my name is Vinesh Maharaj be great do whatever it takes get your mentals right man ciao ciao